So today I'm going to teach you guys how I recreated this Apple Music promo cube. So these are the compositions that you need to create. Your main one you need to create is on the left side and then the cube must be a square. So you'll do 1080px by 1080px. Then you're going to want to bring in your covers, your single cover and your playlist cover into the cube composition. And I just changed the layer covers so I know which one is which. Then you're going to want to hit command Y on your keyboard to create four new solids. A cube has six sides, so we have to create the other sides. And I just did pink so I can see it really well. Then we need to select all our layers and turn on the 3D and then the motion blur. And now I'm just dragging the layers up on the top. And then we need to change our camera view from active camera to custom view one. So now we're going to start forming the cube. So just follow the instructions I have on the screen and watch me because it's kind of confusing to explain. But you're just going to need to make sure to make two solids X rotation 90 degrees and two solids Y rotation 90 degrees. And you have to have snapping on because that's what's going to allow us to perfectly align everything together so it forms a cube. So make sure you have snapping on. And now I'm just checking to make sure everything looks good. So then, now we're going to want to go to Layer, New, Null Object. This Null Object is what we're going to use to control the whole cube. So you need to select all your layers and drag that swirly pick whip to the Null Object layer. And make sure you turn on 3D on the Null Object layer. So now you want to hit A on your keyboard and move the third anchor point um, third anchor point option until it's in the center of the cube so where three intersections meet so just follow me to make sure you do it because this is going to assure us that the null object is in the center of the cube so it all moves uniformly so now we need to select the solid layers that serve as the top of the cube and the side of the cube and rename them and then we're going to pre-compose them because they will serve as the comps with our text animations so now I'm just changing the layer colors just so I know which ones are which so to pre-compose, you just want to right click on the layer and then hit pre-compose and rename. So now we're in the top layer composition. So just here you want to add your text and position it in the bottom left hand corner. And you're going to repeat this process for the side composition. And so here we see our text is upside down. So we need to select our top composition, right click and then hit flip horizontal. Now we need to decrease the opacity of the pink solid layers. So just go into all your compositions and then the cube composition and change the opacity of all your pink solid layers to zero. So now we're going to keyframe all the animations. So first we're going to create this little plus sign animation that was in the original cube. So we're going to go into our side composition layer and then create the plus sign animation. So we're going to hit our pen tool and then choose the color we want the plus sign to be. And then just follow what I'm doing. Just click and drag down, come off the layer, and then click and drag horizontally. And then we need to move the anchor point in the center of the plus sign so it rotates and scales uniformly. So just hit Y on your keyboard and move the anchor point in the center of the plus sign. And then just watch what I'm doing. Um, add keyframes, I'm adding keyframes to the position, I mean to the scale and the rotation. So now I'm adding the text um, animations. So I'm just moving the position. Um, I'm moving the text off screen to the left so it comes on screen from the left. And you can just follow what I'm doing because it's kind of hard to explain. But make sure you select all your keyframes and add easy ease. So now we need to go back into our cube composition and change the camera view from custom view one to active camera and then we need to move the right y rotation of the null object so that um, the single cover is facing the screen so the y rotation should be should be 180 or negative 180 and then we need to scale it so it fits into our whole composition 
So now we're going to animate the cube. So we need to add keyframes to the scale, x rotation, y rotation, and orientation of the null object. So click the stopwatch under each of those categories and add keyframes because this is how we need it to end. We need it to end with a single cover filling the screen. So once you do that, then you're going to want to move your timeline indicator backwards and adjust the cube to get it to look like the original position. And I put the image here so you can see how it's supposed to start out. So just watch me so you can see how to do it. Okay, so now I'm noticing that the playlist cover is flipped backwards, so we're just going to right click it, transform, and hit flip horizontal, so now it should be facing front like that. And so now I'm just playing with it, adjusting how fast or how slow I want it to move. And you got to make sure that after all the text animations pop up, then you want your cue to move, so not before that. So now I'm just going in and adding easy ease to my keyframes. I forgot to add it to the scale, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just adding it to the scale as well. All right, so that's looking a little better, but we can get it to look even better. So we need to um, go into the speed graphs and edit it. And so this can be kind of confusing, but all in all, just watch what I'm doing. You need to grab those little yellow handles and move them in. So right here is where all your speed graphs should look like. So go under the scale keyframes, the X rotation, the Y keyframes, one by run, one by one, and get the graphs to end up looking like that. So now we need to go into our main composition and drag in our cube composition. So you can just search it in the project file box. And so it should be automatically scaled right because the both compositions um, have the same width. And so now we're gonna hit Command Y and create a new solid. And this can be any color you want. So we're gonna add a gradient to this. So you wanna select that layer, go to layer styles and then hit gradient overlay. And then go into it and hit edit gradient and then change the gradient to whatever colors you want. So you can customize it. And you don't have to use like a solid background or a gradient background. You can use any type of background. But this is just what I did. And so yeah, that's the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and comment down below other tutorials you want to see. And follow me on TikTok because I post a lot of different recreations, edits there, all different types of stuff. So yeah, see y'all in the next video. Bye.